gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video. And it's the state of the AFC East, and we hitting up the Patriots, the most loved team in the NFL. And when I say that, I'm completely bullshitting because they're not. They're hated worldwide. But why? Because they win. And when you've got the best quarterback in the game, what can you do about it? You're trying to knock off the best. Without further ado, let's hit up the New England Patriots. Now, a lot of people are going to think that the Patriots got worse. The quarterback's older. They just lost their best weapon in Gronkowski. What are the Patriots going to do now? You got an older quarterback. His best weapon's gone. I mean, we got it, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to think twice about that one because they've added some pieces to this bitch. And let me... Let me tell you what's going down with these Patriots. They've added a Michael Bennett in trade. They even brought in Demarius Thomas. Now, some people will say, whoa, 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 whoa. He's coming off an Achilles injury. Big deal. No, no, no. This is a former Pro Bowler. This is a guy that if he gets his act together, that's a formidable combo with Brady to Thomas, right? You still got Julian Edelman running around and pissing people off. I'm sorry when I when I show my anger, but it's just it's the damn frustration with these damn Patriots, man. They just keep they just keep breaking our hearts. You feel me? So let me get back into this thing. So they're trying to find the replacement for Gronkowski, but that just is not gonna happen. You just don't replace that big mammoth of a man. Receiver Dontrell Inman was added to the squad. Don't sleep on that man. That boy can play the receiver's position. Not only that, they brought in a Nikhil Harry, one of the top receiving prospects in the recent draft. So guess what? You got Edelman, you got Inman, you got Demarius Thomas, you got Nikhil Harry. Wait a second now. That receiving core just revamped. And don't forget, they still got the guys they have from last year. So let's think twice about thinking that the Patriots are going to be some bums. Because I don't know about that. They might have a little something on us. Moving on, they've lost Chris Hogan. They lost Trent Brown. Signed a major deal, huge deal with the Raiders. Trey Flowers just signed a huge deal with the Lions. So they've lost a little bit on the offensive line. They've lost a little bit on the D line. And then you gotta think about the draft. Nikhil Harry being one of them, probably gonna start. Jajuan Williams, one of the top corners in the draft to the Patriots. Yanni Kajust was on the brink of being a late second rounder, third rounder, and they picked my guy up in the third round. So they solidified the old line by adding Kajus while they lost Trent Brown. And don't forget, they get back win. So that old line potentially didn't get worse, but kind of stayed stagnant with some youth at the line. We're gonna find out how this Patriots team is gonna deal. Don't sleep on Chase Winovich, defensive end from Michigan. Listen, folks. They've added some good pieces. Nikhil Harry, Juwan Williams, Chase Winovich, Stidman. Listen, they did, they did a hell of a job on the draft. They really filled some needs. So we cannot and will not stand here and think, oh, we got this in the bag. No, 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 no. The Patriots silently have gotten better. That's just my opinion. Now, we all know who the key players are on this team. Brady. Edelman and Sonny Michelle. Oh yeah, that's my Haitian boy. Sonny Michelle is going to be running that rock. So we've got to watch out for that big three on the offensive side of the ball. And not, not sleep on Nikhil Harry. The defense is going to be the defense. When you have one of the best minds in football running that defense, you know they're a bend but not break defense. They're not a defense that's going to rank in the top five. They're always going to be in that 10 to 12, 13 range. But they're disciplined, disciplined, disciplined. That's what you get when you have the best head coach in the game. So how does a team like the Bills combat with the Patriots? Let me tell you how we combat with the Patriots. We just signed Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver is there to wreck the middle. I don't care who's going to be there. You pair up Ed Oliver with the Jordan Phillips. You pair up Jordan Phillips with a Starla Tulele. You pair up Starla Tulele with also with a returning with a newly signed contract Maya add Jerry Hughes. And we got some problems for that old line. Now, how do we now go against the Tom Brady? We got the DBs. We got the safeties. 
It's all a matter of pushing Tom Brady off his mark. If we push the front, we got this. But we can't sleep, man. They brought in some pieces. So guess what? That defensive front that they got with Bennett leading the way. Chase Winovich is probably going to get a lot of playing time. Hightower and Van Noy, we got our hands full. But I think we've got just the thing for the Patriots. I feel the Patriots are going to push for that number one spot. But guess what? My guy Michael Robinson thinks that we have an opportunity to win the AFC East. Are you mad at that? I'm not. I don't like hearing it, but I'm not mad at it. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the Patriots. Did they get better this year? Because I feel like they got a tiny bit better and they got slightly younger. That could pose a problem for us. But on our end, we got some star power now. We have the ability now to push the envelope and try to push for that number one spot. So let me know what your thoughts are on how we can match up with the Patriots. It's the state of the AFC East and I just touched on the Patriots. For you Patriots fans that are watching this, did I miss anything? Am I on to something? I feel that you guys are still going to be pushing for that number one spot. But guess what? You're not alone. We're right behind you. We're nipping at your heels. And that's this squad right here. That's this squad right here. You ain't going to run the East for that much longer. Tom Brady can only save you guys for so long. It's a matter of time that those avocado ice creams, it ain't going to work. So how do you guys feel about this video? How do you guys feel about these Patriots? Are the Patriots going to be the number one team again? Are we close to pushing for that number one spot as well y'all let me know in the comment section y'all let me know how you guys feel about this video click that thumbs up and let your boy know that you're showing love and until next time it's your boy and i'm gone buffalo fanatics has partnered with youtube to offer viewers the ability to become sponsored members here are all the perks and exclusives included in your member package Receive a Buffalo Fanatics loyalty badge and get priority when hosts are responding to comments and answering questions inside every live video chat. Access to a member-only community where you'll be able to communicate with our content creators and have more of a say in the content produced. Qualify to stream with our Buffalo Fanatics gaming streamers live on our YouTube and Twitch channels for the world to watch. Never pay shipping fees when shopping inside the Buffalo Fanatics fan shop automatically entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the 2019 Buffalo Bills home opener where you'll hang out and sit with the entire Buffalo Fanatics team. Drawing will be held live on YouTube in August 2019. We rep the people, we rep Buffalo Fanatics.